Alright, so time for European Interactions with Native Americans, Part 2. Let's crack those books. Alright, so the next country we are going to look at is France. Um, so we looked at Spain and why they came, and so France is going to go to a different part of the Americas. Spain went mostly south, so like we talked about Mexico, Central America, into kind of Southern America. France is going to go north, and France is going to go to Canada. And the reason that the French came to America is because they heard that the Spanish were making money. And during this time period, countries were in competition with each other for who could have more land and who could have more money. So France didn't want Spain getting all the money, and so they wanted to become wealthy as well. And so they sent their fur traders, because there were a lot of furs up in Canada, um, and then they also sent missionaries. So both Spain and France are sending missionaries trying to convert Native Americans into believers of their faith. Um, and the important areas France claimed were Canada, and then specifically Quebec was their like main outpost in the Americas. Their relationships with Native Americans were a little bit different than the Spanish. Instead of enslaving them, they worked with the Native Americans and made them business partners. So the Native Americans were willing to work with the French and show them where to live, where to hunt, and kind of how to um, be successful in the fur trade business and how to trap the animals they wanted to trap. Some important French explorers were Samuel de Champlain and Jacques Marquette. Um, Marquette has a university named after him up in, um, I believe it's like Minnesota area. Um, and Shan Samuel de Champlain um, has a few locations and lakes named after him. Alright, so the British. The British are going to be the most important country that we look at when we look at European interactions in North America because they are the ones that founded colonies. The British founded colonies in the United States. Um, the United States goes eventually will go to war with Britain so that they can have their own country, but the British are the ones that initially set up the 13 colonies in the United States. And the reasons that they wanted to move were to escape persecution, and this is religious persecution. So they weren't allowed to practice um, the religion of their choosing in England. They had to practice the country's religion. And so um, they wanted to escape um, that. And so they went to the king, and the king gave them charters and said, you can go set up land here, you can go set up a colony here, but you report back to us. So in addition to escaping religious persecution, they also wanted to make money and gain new land. The more land that the British had, the more powerful they were at this time period. So the British sent men, merchants, and sailors because they wanted to establish themselves. They didn't send women at first. It was just men. Men who could farm, who could dig for silver and gold, um, and then sailors to help man the ships. The important areas claimed are the East Coast. Jamestown is the first successful British colony. Um, there are arguments that there were other colonies prior to Jamestown established by the British, but Jamestown is the first successful British colony. Um, and most of you will know about Jamestown if you've seen the Disney movie Pocahontas, which we'll get to in a second. Their relationships with Native Americans were that they created enemies. The British came in and took land from Native Americans. They came in and said, this land is ours, it is no longer yours, and we are going to set up here. And so the Native Americans didn't like that. There were a lot of wars um, and a lot of fighting between them. Um, they were taught how to farm if they had a good relationship with the Native Americans. So um, if there was an a good relationship, the Native Americans did teach them how to farm certain crops, specifically corn, beans, and squash. C for corn, B for beans, S for squash, corn, beans, squash are going to be the most important um, crops for the Native Americans and also the British. Um, John Cabot is a famous British explorer. He 
found in Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, which is up in Canada, just north of Maine, in 1497. So not that long after Christopher Columbus uh, allegedly discovered the Americas. All right, so let's look at the impact on Native Americans. Before I start talking about the impact on Native Americans, I want to talk about this picture right here. Um, this picture is a picture of Pocahontas. Now, those of you who have seen the Disney movie, Pocahontas looks nothing like this image right here. However, this is Pocahontas dressed up in her um, British clothing. When they took her back to England, they changed how she looked. Um, and so this is what she wore. So some the impact on Native Americans. So Native Americans were living on the land. They didn't believe that you could own land. They wanted to preserve the land and be able to farm the land for an extended period of time. Um, and so the impact on Native Americans were that the Pueblo learned how to use new tools. So um, that's this first bullet point right here and then down here as well. Native Americans were introduced to metal tools. Um, they were converted to the Catholic faith by both Spanish and French. Remember, the Spanish and the French sent missionaries. Um, and they converted the Native Americans. They were introduced to diseases such as smallpox, measles, and influenza. These three diseases wipe out a majority of the Native American population. Now, this is um, in South America and North America. Uh, so, Columbus, Hernan Cortez, um, as well as the British. They introduced these diseases via the Columbian Exchange to um, the Native Americans living in this area and cause massive amounts of death. Like, like I mentioned before, Native Americans were introduced to metal tools. Um, the Europeans took the land for practically nothing. So Native Americans, prior to Europeans being like claiming land and setting up colonies, Native Americans believed that land was not owned by a certain person. Everybody worked the land, everybody preserved the land, the natural resources needed to be preserved, and so they really lived on the earth. So when the, when the Europeans came over, um, the Europeans came with this idea that we own the land, you have to own the land, and that was a new concept for Native Americans, which led to a lot of conflict. Um, and then Native Americans, um, aligned or created alliances with certain European groups, specifically the French. Remember the French um, interacted with the Native Americans and they made them business partners, so they had really great um, relationships with the Native Americans. This great relationship with the Native Americans will lead to um, a war called the French and Indian War where the French and the Indians align and they become allies and fight against the British and the colonists. But we'll talk about that when we get there. So that is it for your European interactions part two. You're done. See you in class.